Hey guys, gals, and empty pals, here's a progress update on the Twilight Princess map for you all. This video, is, this video is going to be in a bit of a different format than previous videos on the map. Instead of just having a uh, replay mod time lapse, I'm going to be showing off the changes that I've made to the map uh, after building. Um, let me know in the comments if you like this format or not. As you can see over here, I have not actually moved into the area with Link's house yet. Uh, however, I have made some changes to the map, some that are like massive changes and some that are just small details. For example, as you can see here, I made the circular shaped uh, trail that goes around the Ordon Ranch, and then I filled the inside with some low-level light blocks to improve visibility without taking away from the field. I also used world edit to move the entire ranch up by a block in order to more create the hill effect as it goes down towards the village. Now, those of you that have been watching this series might notice something. Yep, the map has been flipped. I found a website linked in the description that has a collection of maps from different video games that you can free cam your way around. This is really helpful with building the Twilight Princess map. Now, why is the map flipped? Said website has the GameCube version of Twilight Princess. In this version, along with the HD remake when not in hero mode, Link is left-handed, so the whole map is flipped because previously I'd been using an HD hero mode save file to build the map off of. I used World Edit to flip the map with a couple of bloopers during the process. Now that the edits to the ranch are out of the way, time for the big reveal. I noticed in the last couple episodes that the building in the interiors was pretty rough to get right because I didn't have enough space. Well, I took a closer look, and it turns out the houses are actually bigger on the inside in-game. So instead of trying to stuff an interior into a house that's smaller than it, I decided to use command blocks to teleport to the interiors that are actually built much farther away. This allows me to incorporate far more details into the interiors. As you can see over here I've built Mayor Bo's house, I've got his weapons and shields up on the walls over here. I used a debug stick to set the furnace to always be lit. And then down here I have the room that actually has space for the room for the sumo match. And then up on top I actually have space to add more details up here. It looks like the light is kind of peeking out from random spots because this is also how it looks in the game. It's because I've tucked away light blocks around to both improve visibility and I've tried to keep them near the locations that they actually are in-game. I'm never going to get over how satisfying it is to go in and out of the doors. And then over here, as you can see, I've added more detail to Russell's house by, you know, putting in the pot potted plants around and putting up the fishing rods on the wall. And then over here we've got Sarah's sundries, which you can actually move around in now. I know, crazy. Aww. And finally, I saved the best for last with this one. Those of you that have played the game, if you recall, while you are a wolf in Ordon Village trying to get the sword and shield, Midna has you jump up over here onto the roof and jump in through the window. You'll land approximately right here, and then, as you can see, I worked on the interior up here, and then afterwards there's still the button to get out like the normal button to get in and out afterwards you can go up here and then you can go out the other window where you come out in game that is pretty much everything that i've updated about the map it was i know this was a bit of a shorter video partially because of the format and partially because i just didn't really make as much progress in this video, but now that I can use the Noclip website so that I can speed up progress on the map, because it's easier to get a good angle on stuff, 
uh, and move around faster, um, the progress on the map should be speeding up a bit more, and I'll actually be able to get at least a couple more videos out in the next few months. So next video we're gonna start moving out over here along this path and putting in Link's house, and then I haven't decided if I'm gonna go all the way to the uh, spring yet. Alright, I will see you guys in the next episode or the next video of mine that you watch, and uh, and until then, see ya.